Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, guys, we're going to do something different. We're going to do a 21 day challenge that will change your life. It's called a 21 day challenge life changing habits. These are the rules, guys. Once you start, you can't stop. You have 21 days to form this new habit and it's going to change your life. I know because I've done it and it works. Okay, guys. Here we go. On day one. Hold on, guys. Okay, guys. On day one, you go to sleep early. Now, early could be any time. Like, I'm going to say at least an hour before you normally go to sleep. So if you normally go to sleep at 11, go at 10. If you normally go at 10, go at 9. Whatever whatever time you can get in the bed, I don't know if you have kids or what kind of lifestyle you have, but try to go to bed earlier than you normally go. So on day one, go to bed early. On day two, go to bed early and drink a gallon of water. On day three, go to bed early, drink a gallon of water, and eat healthy. Now, what is healthy? Help to me, help something healthy is sardines, tuna, or salmon. Maybe a chicken breast, maybe a salad and a sweet potato. That's healthy. Just keep it simple, guys. Broccoli, chicken breast, sweet potato, and then maybe a snack. But try to eat healthy. No fast food. Okay, guys. On day four, you're going to go to sleep early, you're going to hydrate, you're going to eat healthy, now you're going to exercise. Okay, guys, any type of exercise work, at least commit one hour to exercising. On day five, you're going to sleep early, you're going to hydrate, you're going to drink a gallon of water, you're going to eat healthy, you're going to get one hour of exercise, and then you're going to meditate on day five. You're going to meditate for a minimum of 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Your, med your meditation is going to consist of all things that you are grateful for. Think of everything that you're grateful for. Think positive affirmations to yourself. I love myself. Everything that you love your plants, your your life, your body, your mind, your mother, your father, anything that you can that you can show gratitude for, appreciation for, best friend, boyfriend, your pet, your water, your plants, anything that brings any type of happiness or satisfaction to your life. I don't care what it is, it could be your past shoes. It could be a shirt. It could be anything. Anything that brings happiness, hope, and satisfaction to your life. Doesn't matter what it is. And the more things that you can introduce, the more things you can be grateful for, the more things that you can have gratitude for, the better. Okay, guys? Next is breathing. You want to take deep breath. So the next one is on day six, you're going to go sleep early, you're going to hydrate, you're going to eat healthy, you're going to exercise, you're going to meditate, and on day six, you're going to breathe. You're going to breathe, you're going to take deep breath, and you're going to breathe, and you're going to practice taking deep breath all the way to the bottom of your lungs. Take deep breath. No shallow, no shallow breathing. Fill your entire cavity with deep breaths. Hold it. Hold it. So your deep breath should last at least five seconds. Hold it. Boom. And you're gonna do your deep your deep breath work for maybe like about but we'll, we'll just say about ten repetitions. Because you don't, you don't want to get dizzy. So maybe 10 rep repetitions. You're going to do your deep breath. 
You can do that one or two times. And however many times you feel like doing it for like maybe like five or ten minutes. Okay, guys? So you're going to do your, your deep breath work on your sixth day. <clears throat> on the seventh day, you're going to sleep early, hydrate, eat healthy, exercise, meditate. Do your breath work, and then on the seventh day, you're going to stretch. You're going to stretch. So, guys, you got a lot. To, you, got, you have a lot of stuff going on with your exercising, your meditation. Between the exercising, the meditation, and the breath work, you're talking about an hour and some change, right there, guys. So, you're going to each each time you you add to it, you're going to increase your dedication. You're going to increase your dedication. You're going to do this for 21 days. You can't make any excuses, guys. So let's go. So you're going to get your stretching in. You stretch for maybe, you know, about you know 10 minutes. It don't take long. Just stretch. You know, stretch. You know, different kind of stretching movements. Sit down. Touch your toes. Touch your toes, you know. Reach high in the sky. Reach, 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 reach high. Okay, guys, next. On day eight, you're going to sleep early. You're going to hydrate. Drink a gallon of water. You're going to eat healthy. You're going to exercise, meditate, breathe, stretch, and you're going to walk. Now, you're exercising and you're walking. You can do it at the same time. Same thing with stretching. <clears throat> you can stretch. You can exercise. And you can walk all in that one hour. You don't have to separate this stuff. You can do it all in one as long as you do it all. You can, you can if you go to the gym or if you're at home, you can stretch, you can meditate, you can do your breath work, stretch, walk, exercise. In one one and a half hours, all that should be done. Okay, guys? So I'm not talking about do exercise in one session and walking in another session. Not unless that's what you want to do. Depends, you know, you might have time constraints, so you might not be able to separate the exercises from the walking. So it's up to you. Okay, guys, on day nine, you're going to go to sleep early. You're going to drink a gallon of water. You're going to eat healthy. You're going to exercise. You're going to meditate. You're going to take your deep breath. You're going to stretch. You're going to walk. And you're going to detox from social media. You want to do a detox from social media. So on that day, you got to decide how long do you want to not touch your phone. I know it's going to be hard for a lot of guys, but do that either in the morning or at night. Because during the day when you're walking, exercising and stuff, you might, you're going to be on your phone, you know, listening to music, whatever, whatever. But do it during the period where, you know, you don't want to be distracted. So you might want to do it during your exercise and walking and meditation. You might want to do it then. You might want to do it in the morning. You know, if you get up in the morning at 6 o'clock, just say, I'm not going to touch my phone for four hours at 10 o'clock. There you go. Or if you need to do it in the evening time, say, I'm not going to touch my phone from 9 p.m. to before I go to bed. So if you go to bed at 9, I mean, if you go to bed at 10, you have your your reading or meditation time and eating time, no phone. So try not to mess with the phone for a period of three, I'm going to just say three hours. From 9, from 7 to 10, or from 6 to 9. Okay, guys, next, on day 10, you're going to go to sleep early. You're going to hydrate. You're going to eat healthy. You're going to exercise, meditate, breathe, stretch, walk. Limit your screen time again. And then you're going to reflect on the last nine days. You're going to show gratitude. And you're going to think about the commitment. And you're going to show appreciation. You're going to thank the universe for giving you the opportunity, for giving you the discipline. To take on this challenge. That's what you're going to do on day 10. And you're going, to, you're going to reflect on how this is going to help you. And the things that you have done to hurt yourself. If you, if, you, if you need to stop smoking. If you need to stop drinking. 
If you need to have, if you, if you need to stop having negative thoughts, you're going to reflect on all positive things. No negative, nothing negative, all positive. If you're going to reflect on anything negative, it's going to be how it made your life worse. Your, the bad, your bad eating habits, your bad sleeping habits, your bad exercise habits, anything bad that made your life worse. You want to you want to forgive yourself when you reflect. You want to forgive yourself. You want to tell your your body that you apologize, that you're sorry for abusing it. You are sorry for abusing your heart. You are sorry for abusing your mind. You are you are sorry for abusing your body. Okay, guys. Next day eleven. You want to go to sleep early, hydrate, eat healthy, exercise, meditate, breathe. Stretch, walk, limit your screen time, reflect, and you're going to make a plan. You're going to make a plan on how you're going to maintain this lifestyle. You may not be able to maintain all of it, but after 21 days, you should be able to see which one that you can maintain. Pick out the challenges that is most impactful and important to you. That's what you're going to use your plan for. You're going to plan your future. Okay, you're going to write it down. Okay, next. On day 12, you're going to sleep early. You're going to hydrate. You're going to eat healthy. Exercise, meditate, breathe, stretch, walk, limit screen time, reflect, plan, and then you're going to do your budget. Now, the budget part is really important, guys. On day 12... You're going to get your budget. And you're going to go from day 12 to day 21. And you're going to maintain that budget for 11 days straight. 11 days straight. You're only going to spend $10 a day. So you're going to give yourself a $100 budget for the next 10 days. If you can do go less, go less. Maybe $50, $5 budget. But I'm assuming that you know you may want some snack on the drink or whatever, or you can go to the store and buy bulk. If you can budget in not spending any money for 10 days, don't spend one dime for 10 days. Fill your gas tank up on day 12. And try to go 10 days and don't spend any money. No coffee out. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about you know, like, I'm talking about extra, extra stuff. Take your lunch to work. No coffee. No, nothing. Don't spend any money. Bring everything from your home. Your snack, coffee, tea, anything, anything that you're going to eat. Don't eat dinner out or nothing. Okay? So that's your budget. For 10 days, you not you don't spend anything. Okay? On day 13, so you got the budget. On day 13, you're going to do your journal. And you're going to go through all the the uh, other 12 steps. And then you're going to journal on, on day 13. Journal is very difficult for some people. It is very difficult. But you need to write down what you're grateful for. That's what you need to do. And write down how, how if you, if, if, what, what, which one of these challenges gave you the most fulfillment or enlightenment. Okay, guys, so I guess the journaling and the planning can be similar, but, you know, it's up to you. Practice gratitude on day 14. So on day 14, you're going to go through all the other 13 days and then you're going to start you're going to practice gratitude you're just going to be thankful for everything you're going to own everything in your life anything that went wrong in your life you're going to own it relationships failed businesses bad advice bad eating bad thinking negative thoughts whatever it is you just own it and you ask the universe to help you to forgive yourself. 
and show absolute gratitude for your car, for your your home, for your bed, for the food, toothbrush, it don't matter what it is. Anything that you have, show gratitude. Next is smile. We're going to practice smiling. Get in the mirror and smile and say, I love myself. Do that every time you go to the mirror, every time you go to the bathroom, say, I love myself. Smile. Okay? Day 16, do all the other 15 days, and then connect. Connect with the universe. Connect with a loved one. Connect with yourself. Connect with your pet. Tell your pet that you love him. Tell your pet that you love him so much. And I appreciate, I appreciate you for being here to love me back unconditionally. That's what you're going to tell your pet. If you have a, ch a child, a da daughter or son, tell them that you love them to connect with your those things that, you know, bring you happiness. Volunteer. That's, an no, that's another thing. Volunteer don't mean you have to go to a soup line. Volunteer could be holding the door open for somebody. Vol volunteer could be paying it forward, paying for the next, the person behind you coffee. Um, volunteer could, you know, could you go, go to your children's school and volunteer to, you know, greet the students at school one morning. Volunteer to take somebody lunch or do something nice for someone. The next one is to declutter. So you're going to do all your other 70 days and then you're going to declutter. You're going to go through your car, clean your car out, clean your, 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 your bathroom out, your kitchen, throw some stuff away, throw some stuff away out of, out of your, your, your bedroom and that's going to be, you don't have to do all the decluttering at one time. Just make a note of it that you need to declutter and you start working that into your program. Don't do, you don't have to do it all at one time because you might not have time. But clean that car out. Wherever you spend the most time, wherever you want to have a safe, comfortable space, whether it's your office, your bedroom, clean it up. Read. Do all the other 18 days, then read. It don't matter how many pages you read. Just read one, two, three, four, five pages, ten pages. Just read something that's productive positive on the day 20th learn something learn a new vocabulary word learn a new idea learn something about your city learn something about finance and investment learn something you got to read and you got to learn that's, that's what it's all about read a book Read the psychology of money. Video mode. Just read, read something. Okay, next. Affirm. On day 21, you're going to make positive affirmations. I am worthy. I am valuable. I deserve. I command. Respect love and honor I am worthy I am valuable I command love respect and honor well however you want to word it however you want to put it that's, those are the affirmations that you want to make about yourself you're going to say you, you love yourself you're going to you, I respect myself I'm not going to hurt my body my mind or my soul I'm not going to pollute my mind with negative thoughts. I'm not going to entertain myself with negative social media. I'm not going to hurt my body with bad diets. And you want to affirm this, that I am, I will, I do, I see, I talk, I speak truth. I love myself. So with your affirmation, you want to start clearing your chakra. You start clearing your chakra from your root chakra to your crown chakra. You want to clear yourself out. And that's it, guys. That is it. So, you know, it's, it's important to do those things. The 21 days, 
to help you understand and realize that it's it's a it's doable. It takes work. It takes work. So once you commit to it and you start going through each one day by day, day by day, the 21 days is going to go by regardless. You're going to either spend the 21 days watching Netflix and eating, and eating Hagen Dash, or you can spend the 21 days making yourself a better person every day, every day. And once you get to the 21 days, then you can decide out of the 21 challenges, the 21 habits, which ones are you going to try to hold on to? You might not be able to hold on to all of them, but if you just hold on to half of them, you're halfway there. You're halfway there. And one habit, one good habit leads to another good habit. That's how it, that's how it works. Habits are compound. Just like bad habits compound, so do good habits compound. And you get better and better. 1% per day. 1% a day. At 100 days, that's 100%. So guys, until next time, guys, keep your mind clean, keep your life clean, keep your car clean, keep your home clean, keep your diet clean, guys. Guys, download and de deploy your anti-mind virus software. Debug and unplug from the matrix. Guys, drink spring water every day to flush out the toxins, the poisons, and the chemicals that's in the food supply. Guys, you are being poisoned. And when you're operating in your lower self and you're unconscious about your environment, about the things that you eat, about the people that you're around, about the, the, the thoughts that you're thinking, you're poisoning yourself and you're poisoning your children because they hear what you say and they watch what you do. So guys, have honor, have respect, and have some dignity about yourself. Dress like a lady with class and men dress like a man with dignity. Okay, guys, until next time, Contraband 777, I am signing off. Now go and conquer yourself. Peace.